So yeah, they got the they got the white women's, you know, the liberals. Uh, one of them is a mayor. I think her name is Lisa Bender. She talking about it's racist to call nine one one, and she 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 fell for all the bullshit that in the neighborhood you can't call. I bitch, I've seen black folks in the hood in the worstest neighborhoods call nine one one when shit happened. But the only yeah, it could be when they need an ambulance, but the police always come. So how did y'all call nine one one for for whoever? Or when somebody gets shot, you had to call nine one one. So how is the family? The, the, obviously, the shooter is gone, but whoever found little Duran or either y'all was all out there. Y'all having a barbecue, brrr, they get sprayed, they drive off a drive by. Y'all got to call 911. So wouldn't the police, if they're so racist and they hate y'all, wouldn't they come and just start beating everybody at the party? You know, because y'all going to leave, but y'all y'all been through it before. If y'all live in the hood, y'all done been through it. Y'all know they gone. They long gone. They done sprayed that bitch and dipped. They gone. All right, so now you see little Jerron and got hit. Maybe Tamika. Maybe even a little baby. It was just a little part of barbecue. But the enemy gangbangers, they came and sprayed y'all shit up. Y'all might even be having some kind of wake for, for another one of y'all. Y'all having a wake. But they going to spray up your fucking wake. You know what I'm saying? They killed one of y'all. Now they trying to kill some more. Some real gangster shit that you got into. So how you gonna call? You can't. So you, what y'all? So y'all saying y'all literally cleaned up the body. Y'all picked up. Y'all tried to save the, the the people that got shot. Y'all saved their lives by yourselves. And don't try to say that's not what you're talking about. It don't matter because if the motherfucker hates you so bad, he's not gonna have no sympathy. He's gonna be. He's gonna come and start choking up everybody. Y'all so stupid. Y'all y'all really thought y'all could play this sympathy shit that everybody, yeah, you know what? We need to just get rid of that and let y'all take over. Because who going to take over? And then y'all trying to take away the Second Amendments, right? So we can't have our own weapons. So so we're just no guns. And y'all going to y'all niggas crazy as hell. Y'all really thought this shit was going to work. I mean, this crazy white woman is talking about, oh, it's because we live in a certain community and we have privilege. That's why we can call. No, bitch. I guarantee that how, if that's the case, that nobody would be able to call the police. And why are all these niggas arrested on domestic violence charges and they're in prison? They aren't dead. So every time a bitch call the police on a nigga, that nigga should be dead. How did he make it to the police department? He should have been dead. You know what I'm saying? All y'all who, you know, I'm not mad about, you know, the, what I'm saying is the logic. All I'm saying is he shouldn't even made it to the police station. No, 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 don't tell me. Or the, y'all, the other game y'all had, the welfare check. I seen videos, welfare check. I'm sitting when a nigga ghost your ass over oh, well, welfare, especially if it's your baby or supp- the one you want to be your baby daddy. You know what I'm saying? You, uh, he stopped answering you because he know you didn't slept there. I don't care. I ain't getting it all. That's Maury Povich. You know, that's a Maury Povich episode. But y'all, my point is, y'all, a lot of y'all feel it. Welfare check. Welfare check. Oh, I just got, because you didn't answer. You did not answer the door. Welfare check. Well, how would you call a welfare check? Y'all told, y'all so stupid. Y'all just jumped and followed these people and didn't even think about who you were following. Like, did they think this plan through? It's going to be tortoise shreds. What logic? Like I said, that crazy lady, Lisa Bender, I don't know where she's the mayor of or the, whoever she is, she's a governor. If she don't get uh, voted out, something is wrong. We know for a fact y'all done got them fixed, rigged, all this shit. She talking about it's right, oh, oh, be. She tried, she, 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 I guess she don't think there's enough black people who are going to see and tell the truth. Bitch, you a goddamn lie. And matter of fact, what are you talking about? Okay, so you're in this protected neighborhood, but what about us who ain't in a protected neighborhood? Are we going to be able to shoot the intruder? Because they literally asked their question, basically, what about a home invasion? And a lot of us know people who have been through home invasions or involved with home invasions. You know what I'm saying? So what is that person supposed to do? They literally taking a play out of the illegals playbook. Remember how they say the illegals can't call? They really tried to put black folks in the situation where they, oh, they're so scared to call the police. They can't call the police. Bitch, I ain't never been scared to call the police. 
And if I called the police on you, it was for your own protection. And it never backfired on me, I promise you. And matter of fact, I even got kind of attitude with the police. And really, I, I think they could tell I wasn't mad at them because they told me some things. Not told me some things like you need to, to calm down. No, they just told me something about what you need to do. You know what I'm saying? They ain't say don't call us, but they also told me something. This some real. This about four. Years, this wasn't that long ago. You basically they telling me if I'm having problem with these motherfuckers, you know, coming on you doing this and that. Uh, you can say whatever. You the racist, racist. How is it racist to want to protect your shit? Y'all so stupid. Y'all literally thought you could get away and try to be like uh, either. You know, it's just material. It ain't even about the... See, that's the point. It ain't about the money. Y'all missing the point. In the Bible, it also says a fool and his money is soon parted. So you're not supposed to be stupid either. All right? So you worked hard for your money. Ain't nobody going to let you just come through. And you would be being stupid letting these folks take away your Second Amendment rights and come take your shit and tell you, oh, you're just being racist. It's pent up racism. Or if you're black, you're just self-hating. Don't be a fool. A fool in this money is soon parted. They're going to take your fucking money. That's all they want to do is take your shit. And they really thought they could get away by saying, oh, it's just material. And you're just you're just a greedy person. No, you ain't got to be stupid. And they ain't even going against, they ain't even going up against the rich folks because they know better. They preying on each other. So if you just happen to be doing that tiny bit better, they're going to come and take your shit because they didn't want to work. They sat at home every day doing nothing, literally nothing, not even selling drugs or whatever they could sell, doing nothing. You went to work, now they want to come take your shit. Man, this shit done ran out of power.